Hey everybody, welcome back to OrthoNugs. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a variety of techniques to improve knee extension mobility. So I'll show you a few of my go-to manual techniques, joint mobilization, stretches, as well as a few low load prolonged stretches that I like to uh, use with my patients to increase knee extension. All right, in order to increase knee extension, we need to do an anterior glide of the tibial facets on the femoral condyles. We also, I also like to incorporate a rotational mode. So you can see on my hands, just on the medial aspect of the tibia, creating more of an external rotation moment, which simulates the screw home mechanism. So now I have the knee in the open pack position. I'm stabilizing the distal femur, doing an anterior glide of the proximal tibia on the femur, oscillating at the barrier. I can also change the position of the roller still trying to increase extension, but instead gliding the femur or the femoral condyles posteriorly on the tibial plateau. Now we're gonna, again, position the knee in the open pack position. Um, this is that rotational mobilization I talked about. So again, the knee is not a true hinge joint. There's rotation that occurs. So by placing my hands at the posterior medial aspect of the proximal tibia and gliding anteriorly, I'm creating more of that rotational mobilization, trying to simulate the screw home mechanism. You can see that same technique now done away from the open pack position, closer to the restricted range. So if you're having trouble getting those last few degrees of knee extension, don't forget that rotational component. Now I can do that same anterior tibial glide in a prone position, placing the knee in the open pack position. The table creates that nice stabilization counterforce as I apply an anteriorly directed glide. On the proximal tibia. Now, as I demonstrated before, I'm going to get away from the open pack position and start to move the knee closer to its restricted range of motion as I apply that anteriorly directed force. So I'm oscillating at the barrier here. I can move the knee a bit closer to full extension. Again, an oscillatory Maitland mobilization technique, and then even closer to the barrier yet. This is more of a sustained Kaltenborn mobilization. Those are typically held anywhere from five to 10 seconds. I like to follow up those mobilizations with just a basic manual knee extension stretch. So I'll hold that for 10 seconds times nine or 10 reps. This is a patient self-stretch. We can follow that up with a low load prolonged stretch or another option is a low load prolonged stretch. This prone hang works really well, just gravitational overpressure. We can also uh, put a cuff weight if we don't feel this is enough overpressure. This is gonna be a low load prolonged heel prop in a supine position. I love these low load prolonged stretches because it really follows that TERP principle of total end range time or allowing the, the tissue to stay in an elongated position for a prolonged amount of time. This is the seated variation. Hey, thanks for watching. If uh, you like this video and uh, you feel it's helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, I've also included a couple different playlists here that you might wanna check out related to assessment of the lower extremity. Uh, one is range of motion and the other is clinical strength assessment. So thanks again for watching.